Folks, you're going to want to hit the DVR tonight for the sportscast. We have a great cast for you and phenomenal matchups in basketball. We have seven top 10 teams in basketball in action tonight, and a couple of them going head to head. We begin with number one, St. John's, taking on Holy Name. Always a big matchup, always a big one for Jason Shavor. Second quarter, 14 all. Charles Daniels taking it into the trees. And the Pioneers are up by two. St. John's on the break. Daniels up for two. Pioneers up by four. One of the all-time best basketball players ever to come out of the area. John Krakowalski taking in the game. And now it is Holy Name going strong to the rack. Crowds pumped. Another one of the all-time great coaches and players ever in the area. And Ash Zaleski enjoying the action. Freshman TJ Power with a block. The big guy affecting things on the defensive end, and he's done that all year long. St. John's hitting the offensive glass. Andres Torres, the rebound and put back. St. John's is up by six. Holy names, Logan Talbot, the drive and dish to Symir McLean. Simon drilling the long jumper. And it's Alvin Kawasi showing off the quickness, the speed, the handle. That's sweet, and the naps are within four. St. John's, good passing. Owen Marrera, the freshman underneath for two. So final seconds ticking down to the half. Tommy Dunn from half court, letting it fly at the buzzer. And he nails it. St. John's up three at the half, and the Pioneers go on to win this one. 69-57 is your final. Number seven, Asimut. Number 10, Worcester Tech in a Cal League showdown. Third quarter, Aztecs, Jeffrey Hunter with the runner. Asimut up by nine. Then it's Worcester Tech's Brendan Hamilton, active on the boards. The rebound, the putback. Eagles within seven. Aztecs, Nicholas Hudson, dialing up the long range. Hits the three, Aztecs extending their lead to 10. Hunter, nice footwork, nice touch. The senior. Seniors getting the roll in his home gym. And then it's Tex, Zaire Pert, driving. He scores in amongst the trees. Eagles are down by 10. Asimut loaded with talent. Devin Selden with the three. Aztecs are up by 13. The Eagles, Jose Bonilla. Answering, answering with a three of his own. But Asimut, so tough at their own home gym. Jerry McManus, the runner. Three, three months, uh, there we go again. A few minutes later, hooked on phonics. Jerry McManus with a three. Asimut wins at 63-40, your final. Number three, Algonquin hosting Lemonster in a mid-watch A tilt. Third quarter, Nick Redden on the inbounds, gets it back, drains the three, T-Hawks are up big. Algonquin's transition game is good. Brian Duffy finishing the break, and he's fouled. T-Hawks are up by 24. Lemonsters, Javinsky, Pierre, Louis. Turn around off the glass. Blue Devils battling. Algonquin feeding Redden. Redden, second effort, following his own shot. Good tenacity. T-Hawks running, and it's Redden following. Redden up and in for two more. Redden just cleaning up on the offensive glass moments later. Redden says, I can flat out shoot from range as well. He hits the three. Then it's Callan Wilworth feeding Will Goss. Goss, money. Algonquin rolls tonight, 94 to 60 is your final. Number four, Westboro. Number eight, Neshoba. A couple great coaches in Brian Willer and Brian Riley. First quarter, Rangers by five. Neshoba's Danny McNulty with the finish. Chieftains within three. Dominic Casparello taking it coast to coast. Rangers back up by five. Casparello, the fadeaway jumper. Rangers up by seven. Rangers going to the hoop. Denied by Bruno Casina. Westboro's Matt Doherty from beyond the arc. And the Rangers are up by 12. Doherty had 18 points. Second quarter now to show was Jack Richard with the three, and the Chieftains are down by 10. Richard with a jumper. Chieftains cutting into the lead. 
Westboro shot is off the mark, but Jake Hughes is there for the rebound and the putback. Hughes had 10 points. Neshobas, Richard, draining another three. He finished with 16. Westboro's Mike Doherty to Alex Badger. Badger, oop style. Danny McNulty had 15 for Neshoba, but not enough though. The Rangers hold and serve at home. They win at 61 to 40, your final. Northbridge on the road at ninth ranked Shrewsbury tonight in girls basketball. Third quarter, Shrewsbury down by three. Shots off the mark. Jalisiana Horton with the rebound and the putback. It's a one point game. Colonials working hard on the offensive glass. Maggie O'Ra, the rebound and the putback. Shrewsbury's up by one. One of the all time great Shrewsbury fans, Mr. Early, taking in the action and enjoying the game. Rebound a big story in the second half for Shrewsbury as they cleaned up on the offensive glass. O'Ra, the putback, and the Colonials are up by four. Shrewsbury trailed this game at the half. More from the Colonials. Megan Biss, driving dish to O'Ra. Good touch, they're up six. Fourth quarter now, Maddie Duke going strong, and she's fouled. Colonials are up by eight. More Shrewsbury, O'Ra on the block for two. She had 14 points. Then it's Horton. Deep jumper, she had 20 points tonight. Shrewsbury up 13, they go on to win 56 to 41 is your final. All right, Friday night, we got a great one for you folks. Join us at seven o'clock live. It is Westboro and Algonquin right here on Charter TV3. And we got the bobblehead dolls out tonight. Mitch Gillum bobblehead doll night on Saturday night at the Railers game. Get there early, get your Mitch Gillum bobblehead doll night. Gilly just named an ECHL All-Star. He's a great goalie. And of course, the kids and the <laughs> older fans as well love the bobbleheads. This one's a good one. Gilly's got to be pleased with this bobblehead. That's going to be awesome. That's like a, an achievement oh, to have a yeah. bobblehead out yeah, there. Yeah, you, you're established. You've made it. You've you made know. It. You've <laughs> you made know it. you've made it when that's Here's it. my bobblehead. You can give them out as Christmas <laughs> gifts, you know? Oh, I would. You know, we, hey, we hey how, how are you doing? Of, hi, how are you? Here's Anna. my bobblehead. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Make sure you get one of those. Yeah, get to the Railers game Saturday night, the Gilly Bobblehead. <laughs> Love it. Outstanding. Zoomed in. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. See you back here tomorrow.